All right, so in this video, we want to update our navigation so it would show if the user is logged in or not. Also, we would have the log out functionality. So let's start with the navigation. We want to go to our layout and basically we want to show this login and register only to the guest users and a logout and a dashboard link to the authenticated users. Now in Laravel, we would use directives, but in here, since we are in Vue.js, we can use the vif statement. So I'm gonna create a div here and for now it's empty and I'm going to use the vif directive and I want to say if the page.props.auth.user is not null or has a value or it's true then show the logout link and I'm going to copy one of these and add it here and just change this text to logout we don't want to change this one otherwise we would get an error for now let's just leave it as register and then on the next div we just want to say v else. So it has to be the very next element after v if. All right, so if we go back to our application, we see the log out because this user is actually logged in. And if we inspect, go to application under cookies, get rid of this Laravel session, as well as this remember token and refresh our site then we see register and login because now we are logged out. Now, if you're curious about this page property, in one of the videos, we talk about this global page that basically refers to this global props. So we can access all of these properties, which is globally accessible to us using that page variable. So we are saying go to that page, then the actual props object, then auth and then user. And if this user has a value, we want to show the logout link or any other link. Otherwise, we want to show the register and login. So that's the first step. Now let's log in again and we are logged in. So we see the logout link. Then go back to our application and create our logout functionality. So I'm going to copy one of these post routes and paste it down here. The URI should go to forward slash logout and the function is going to be logout. We also want to give it a name, logout. Then let's go to auth controller and create a function. And we call it logout. We need the request object. For now, let's just die and dump logout. And back to our layout. Now we have a route. So we just want to say logout. So let's just click on this and see what happens. Logout. We see this error that says get method is not supported. So that makes sense. So this link is basically an anchor tag and we are trying to submit through the post HTTP method. So what we need to do here, make this link a post link. So let's go to inertia documentation again. And we under links section, we have the properties that we can apply. With this inertia link, we can specify the method and also the type of this link. It's kind of like a component class in Vue.js where you can say this component is a span or a p tag or an h1. So if we provide the method attribute on this link for our logout and set it to post, then go back to our website and give it a refresh and press logout, we see that die and dump. So this is actually working, but we still have another problem. And that is if I right click and say, open a new tab, we are again submitting through a get request because this is still an A tag or an anchor tag. So this is where that as attribute comes in. We want to say, render this as a button, right? So now if I right click on it, I don't have that option to open on a new tab or control click on it. We could even set the type of this to button just to make sure everything works correctly. So these are all parts of the inertia documentation. And that's how we can submit a link that is going through a post request or a delete request or patch request. So anything but a get request. So we can specify the method using method attribute. But now we want to actually log out the user when we click on it. So again, let's go to Laravel documentation and I'm gonna go to logging out and just copy all of this and paste it here. And we want to log out the user and regenerate the CSRF token. Then we want to redirect to route home. All right, let's see if that works. So we are logged in. Let's say log out. There we go. We are logged out. Let's say login again. And I'm gonna use another user. Press login. Everything works properly. So a couple of more things I wanna do in this video, which is very easy and it's not part of inertia, it's just cleaning up, if you will, I want to create a dashboard page first. So what I'm going to do, copy one of these inertia routes and just paste it above the logout route and change this to dashboard. Then we will have a dashboard view inside the pages folder and the name is going to be dashboard. Let's go to our pages 
folder create a new file and we call the dashboard I want to have a template here and I want to have an h1 with the class of title and say welcome back page props auth and user then name so this should say welcome John or Mike or Sarah or something like that and it's a good idea to always check if this exists but since this is going to be accessible only to authenticated users so we would have a name here now let's go to our layout I want to add a link for it so I'm going to copy one of these, just paste it before log out and set it to go to dashboard. And also I want to go back to the auth controller and in our login for this intended method, I want to say dashboard since now we have a dashboard. I think that should do it. So you notice we have a dashboard now. We are logged in. And one thing I forgot, let's go back to the layout. I want to copy this class a space X6 and add it here. So we have room between these buttons so let's go to dashboard we see welcome back john great let's log out let's log in again i'm going to use another user and maybe also remember this user login we say welcome back sarah and checking our database you can see that this sarah user has a remember me token All right so that was creating a dashboard and the last thing i want to do is to make these links active for example right now i'm in dashboard and i want to make this dashboard button look different because it's an active page and if we inspect our page go to view dev tool again and then inertia component itself and remember we had this name a component home for example or dashboard or whatever so right now it says home because this dev tool sometimes doesn't work properly so we need to reload it a couple of times and it works all right so now it says dashboard so we want to say if the page component name is the same as the uri then apply some classes now we need to keep one thing in mind i'm going to log out here and go to log in so these components like login and register are inside an auth directory so it's inside another folder and if i give it a refresh here and go back to this component you notice it says auth forward slash login so it doesn't say just login so we need to keep this in mind when we want to apply these conditionals so let's go back to our layout i'm going to close everything except layout and on these links i want to bind the class attribute to a condition so i want to apply this background which is the same background as the hover state if the page component is in this case home so for the home page we want to say home and i want to copy this paste it for the dashboard this one should say check if it's dashboard so we don't need for the logout since that's the button we do need it for register i'm going to paste it here and we should say auth then register so i'm going to copy this one from register paste it for login change this to login and that's it let's go back right now we are on the login page that's why we have this state here and register it stays there home and let's go to login let's log in and we go to dashboard and we have the active state if you will all right so one last last thing i just want to add middlewares to our routes and we already know how to do this it's very easy so i'm going to create a route middleware here and first use the auth middleware then group everything so we want to pass a function here and see which routes are only available for the authenticated users these two routes at the bottom so i'm going to cut them and paste them here then i will copy that middleware route and paste it here and just close the statement change this to guest and move all of these routes inside this group of guest middleware so of course now we are logged in so if we go to log in we are back to dashboard let's log out and let's try to go to dashboard we are redirected to the login page so we've already created a proper authentication system using laravel inertia.js and vue.js so in the next few videos we will talk about pagination and some other features that you might need in your application but we've already covered so much and i just want to thank you all for all your support see you at the next one bye for now